Hey, what's cracking? This is Darren Fatman McDuffie helping you become perfectly healthy and toned. Today, I got a question for you. Why do we get sleepy after we eat? So I'm going to sit here and just let you ponder that for a moment. And I think the first thing that is going to come to mind is that it's a good meal. A lot of times I know in my community, we say something like people have the itis. After you eat, you get the itis, which means the meal was, was a good meal. But um, as someone who's studied a little bit on nutrition and who's come to a different path or a different journey in my life, I know that this isn't true. And today I want to explain to you why you actually get sleepy after you eat. So here's the thing. You have to understand that whatever we eat, uh, it has the, the propensity to raise our blood sugar. It's the job of our pancreas to secrete insulin in order to, uh, in order to uh, lessen or lower the blood sugar. So when most people eat, they're eating things that turn into sugar in, in the body. So for instance, things like pancakes, potatoes, Bread. Bread is a big one. All of us eat sandwiches. I don't eat sandwiches anymore because I'm, I'm gluten sensitive, but there are a lot of people out there who are eating uh, sandwiches, you know, with the bread. Uh, two slices of bread are equivalent to about uh, two tablespoons of sugar. So when you're eating these foods, uh, the bread, the pastas, the pancakes, the potatoes, you know, everybody's eating french fries and all this other stuff. It turns to sugar in the body. And what happens is that your blood sugar is constantly doing this. You know, there's no steady, there's nothing that's even keel. So what happens is the, your pancreas secretes the insulin to drive the blood sugar back down, as I explained, and then we tend to get uh, sleepy. Now, the other thing is food sensitivities, and I've done, a, I've done a video on this as well, and I will post a link to that on this video so you can go back and, and really study up on food sensitivities. But the other thing is food sensitivities, and they can make you sleepy as well. I know for me, Personally, when I used to eat gluten, I would be in, sitting in a meeting and they would order pizzas for uh, what we used to call a lunch and learn. And I would eat the pizza and I could not stay awake. It, does, it didn't matter how many hours of sleep I had the night before. I could have had nine, ten hours of sleep. But immediately after uh, eating the pizza or eating a sandwich, I would get sleepy. And it took me years, it took me actually two years before I realized, before someone pointed out to me that it was actually food sensitivities that I had and now since I've given up gluten I no longer have those issues now here's the thing about food food should not affect you in any way other than to replenish your body and give you more energy if you find that you're getting sleepy if you find that you have brain fog if you're finding that you just can't think correctly can't focus after you eat there's something wrong with what you're eating so you need to be able to uh, recognize this and change the things that you're eating so you can be healthy. So again, remember that certain foods have the propensity to raise our blood sugar and it's the job of the pancreas to secrete insulin. When the pancreas can no longer keep up uh, with this, then that's when you have the onset of diabetes and you're seeing a lot of this in our society now and it all reverts back and goes back to the food. So hope you learned something from this video. Drop me a comment. And also I wanted to mention that I started a radio show where I'm interviewing national and local health and wellness experts on books that they've written or things that they're doing in the community to help people out there who are struggling with their health who want to get better. So join me on Fat Man Radio and I'll post a link to that on this video as well. So this has been Darren Fat Man McDuffie helping you become perfectly healthy and toned and I will see you on the next video.